Okay. Hmm. Well, we got to the brick capers. That didn't help us much. My parents' old house, where Emma and I decided to move, hides more sick than I could imagine. No one of the floorboards in the attic had discovered a hidden journal for one of Nicholas Hyde. Reading it absolutely froze my blood. I don't know if the shelling passages describe real life events or if they are just mad ravings made up by this Nicholas person. Okay, so now we're back in modern time. It Damn it, someone must have torn out the rest of the pages. Strange. I was in the attic and... I'll show the diary to Emma. She might find it interesting. Uh... Couldn't move. Like, what the heck? This one looks unhappy. Don't worry, little buddy. You got wings, so you can always fly to a nicer place, unlike me. Can you fly? No. Okay. Like being a hitman when you're throwing people off the sides. Don't fly at it. You in the shower? No. Check and see if there's anything to. Take with us. I don't know if this spawns new things in these or if this is gonna be the same. Because we already gone through all these. Go through them again. Um, don't need that one, no. And that one. Thank God I can work remotely now so I don't have to set my alarm for 6 a.m. Adam, our dearest son, this house belonged to our family for many decades. Some even call it uh, the Stevenson's Refuge. But when me and your dad moved to Boston, we thought Grandpa was just gonna sell it, as he said he would. Well, he didn't. Surprisingly, he left it for us in his will. And now you and your lovely wife will live here. Raise your kids and simply enjoy life far away from the turmoil of our dangerous time. I can't even imagine a better place to settle down. Take good care of Emma. We will visit you sometime next month if my aching hip allows that, Mom. Yes, Dad thinks you should be the one to come up with a name for your son or daughter. I have no idea why he's insisting on that. Maybe he's just getting old Emma and tries to leave some kind of legacy. Anyway, I'm surprised when he mentioned this to you. Hmm. Um, check these. Though. 
Not going down there without light. Honey, you won't believe what I found it. Hey, Emma? Can you hear me? Emma? I was calling you before, but you wouldn't even answer. Where have you been? I was snooping around the attic. I found this... The power is out, by the way. Diary. W what A fuse must have blown. Be a darling, go to the basement, and fix it before it gets dark. This place needs a lot of work. The sooner we start, the better. I don't have to tell you that, do I? What's her problem? Mm -hmm. She sounded like I took a piss on her mother's flower bed. I need a flashlight. It's so damn dark in the basement. Maybe I can find one in the attic. There's a lot of junk in there. <laughs> what did you hear? You yeah, heard nothing. It's not new, but if you do, it's got a very powerful bulb. This horse will haunt me in my dreams. It's an antique, but in mint condition. That's what I like. It doesn't look like it's been affected by the ravages of time, so maybe I can use it to break a few Russian ciphers. I bet its chiming has startled many people. Where are the fuses? Strange, one's missing. Did someone take it out on purpose? Shed. Maybe there's a spare fuse in the shed by the house. Hmm. 
Fuses here, of course. What the? F what the? Eh? What is this? Where did all the blood come from? Why would Emma bring my old stuff from the office here? Quantum localizer. Can't make him a sense of it, but I trusted it off and knew what he was writing about. It allows an in depth analysis of kinetic energy preserved in so called quantum traces. Neighboring users to identify silhouettes of people or other living organisms whose past presence in a given fragment of the space time continuum is left behind the detectable clusters of waves and particles. Quantum clouds. Quick way to ultra sensitive sensor device can detect both electromagnetic and quantum traces. Electromagnetic sensor, thanks to a special built in coil, and this ultra sensitive sensor, the localizer can detect metal objects up to a dozen meters away with a precision of 0.01 centimeters. Quantum sensor, an advanced, very sensitive particle sensor. Based on innovative technology, it can detect quantum traces left by the living organism. WLF display on screen, enabling the user to locate large clusters of quantum clouds. Impulse generator releases a strong impulse, which is then picked up by the sensors. Plus, the user to locate metals and anomalies. Quantum scanner enables the user to stabilize quantum clouds and reveal any anomalies that may cause interference. Ah. Well, can detect and analyze a called quantum trace, which enable us to see short flashbacks of people from the past, including their precise location activities. I've never had a chance to use it in the field, but we were ordered to carry one just in case. I would rather much, I would much rather get a gun than um, another oddity from the eggheads in the EAA. Hmm. A shirt covered in blood. It looks fresh. How did it get here? Jesus! Emma, you scared the crap out of me. Okay, you can open the door. Emma? Honey? not right. Maybe the localizer will show me just what's happened here. Wait, what did they say in training? Press X to equip and unequip the device. Look at it allows you to detect electromagnetic and quantum traces. Quantum clouds. This time informs you that the cloud is near. Press space to continue. Huh. If I remember correctly, this prototype device can be used to detect traces of a person's presence from the past. All I need is to be in a strong field of quantum particles, and with a little bit of luck and science, I'll be able to see a silhouette of the person who is here in a different time.
I should follow the localizer. Green lines at the edge of the screen show the direction to go, and the numbers the distance to the nearby cloud. This is the place. Now I need to use the pulse to show the cloud, then I need to scan it. Scanning quantum call, use the device to scan a cloud. Hold left mouse button. The localizer found something. Someone has been here. It looks like he left the rest of the clothes here. All covered in blood. I'll try to find more traces. It doesn't look good. I have to find out what happened here. is missing, some clothes are lying all covered in blood, and a trace of a person near the shed. It's all looking very strange. Maybe it's all about the stress. On the other hand, I have to be certain that we're safe. I should use the pulse to make the quantum cloud visible, otherwise I won't see a thing. Source, but I can't read anything. The interference is too strong. It must be caused by an anomaly nearby. I should neutralize. Oh, detecting anomalies. Due to their nature, clouds can be unstable. Their readability can be affected by anomalies. In this case, you will need to destroy them all. Find the anomalies in your surroundings. You can make it easier by using click right mouse button. Hmm. There's certain anomaly hit it with an EMP charge fired from the device. Hold left mouse button. Someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. Uh... Grappling hook, huh? Yes. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. from here.
There's so much blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. Clearly drag something heavy through that gate. And another way. The banks are loose. I'll try to break them out. hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in.
Who is he? What did he hide here? Why can't I like untie that? Not. Was to find some, I guess. A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. to get inside. Jump down. Oh. God, who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. if it's coming from the inside the animal is hung up on a rope maybe i can get up there and cut it down or something over here.
I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up. Looks like somebody else has been doing that. I should cut down the deer. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house, in our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got a goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. Hmm. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. Remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. Clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Hmm. Can we jump down here, or will it kill us? What, you get hungry from uh, watching that, Lila? Enjoy your crispy dinner with uh, that. <laughs> the power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. It's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? <laughs> Bill, Jesus, woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? <laughs> Where do we start? Some time later. Box full of cash. Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. 
It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? Mm, no. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, cryptanalysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Yeah, basic painting. Aww. Almost done. Oh, God. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. I wonder who that guy was. I wasn't allowed if to do hang it. this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. A few days later. I wish it was sometimes later, no, a few days later. Oh, come on, how lazy. How can you be? Shit, it's probably from the office. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now. So I thought, maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. So what happened? I don't know. Stress? He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck, o on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. Hmm. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. President Carter's speech, entitled Crisis of Identity, was concluded with a reflection concerning the Soviets. Their most powerful weapon is not the atom bomb but a unique capacity to drive other nations into madness and chaos. Carter believes that at this stage of the Cold hmm. War, our nation needs unity This room got fixed up. Else. Because our enemy's only plan is in making Americans doubt their government. And all the I wonder if there's any point going through these cabinets now. In other news, the St. Louis Cardinals won yesterday's game at the Memorial Stadium. Also right way, yes. 
so. Yes, it was. Oh, boy. Puzzle time. Ah, oh, still warm. Emma knows how to get me on my feet. So, how do I do it again? First, let's take a look at the manual. Please open the, the cover and place the cylinders. Easy. For starters, I need to open the top cover. I need to take the right cylinders from the table. Luckily, they're numbered. Yeah, so it's two. I need to remember that each cylinder goes into a specific position. The first one, then it's uh, four. It's a uh, five. Then it was eight. Okay, the first part's done. Now it's time to set the cogs. Uh, from left to right, two, two, fourteen. Piece of cake. Now for the last step, the wires at the bottom. Open a button drawer of the device. Plug the wires and draw in the following con configuration. Okay. A to F. And R to E. Right, now I just have to plug that in using the right order. A to F. Mm -hmm. E. Z. And. R. Bum bum. E. That's it. Now I just need to enter the password. That's about run a test using the password. B P F LOP. And as you see, the cause my reading Friday. If after completing the above steps, uh, the message was decoded incorrectly, you will need to recalibrate the device starting with step one. Okay. B P FLOP. I have to be careful. If I click the wrong letters, I'll have to reset the cogs. A. A. 
Okay, it works. I can get down to it. Alone said so maybe you have to do this bullshit then. What's this? It looks like a message encrypted with an enigma. Maybe with the right combination I'll be able to decipher it. Now how do I set it up? Oh, what? A Roman 5-3-S-T. This must be a clue for the encrypted message. What does it mean though? And how can I use it to set enigma up? Oh boy. Mm, right up and down, right? Uh. Maybe that person used my code table to encrypt the message. How can I guess which combination was used? What if this is the one? OVST. He was the last one. Starts with ST. That's uh, ST and S3 and a 5. Uh, has the have a 3 in it. I assume it might be number 17 here then. I'm gonna have one from each side. It has sort of the V5 and he has the O3 and he has the ST. So I'm gonna guess I'll be one four seven five. We're gonna have um, five, nineteen, oh, ten. We have S, B, seven, Z, X. Okay. So we should have one. Uh, uh, four. Seven. ST S2 T and G and X X X
Oh yeah, got to do. Five. Team. Oh, three and ten. Okay. Um. We have to type the li lines between two. Huh? So X. But yourself sounds ominous. Who wrote this anyway? Now what? Check combinations twenty nine and thirty. Okay, here we go. How you did this one on the back side of it? It says uh, V zero three ST. So. On this one, the only combination that has those letters are this right. It has the B, 5, O3, and ST. That's the only row that has that combination. So it's these I had to use to set it up. Uh, but now we have to do something else. Check combination 29 and 30. We're gonna do it right now. It's set. Open. Take them out. Oh man. The. And they have fifteen oh one oh two thirteen M I U B. Is that something much like a horror game, more like a puzzle game right now? Twenty nine and thirty is five one two and four. Zero nine oh five six yes a u president evil okay so five One and two. And number seven. Number is fifteen. Two. 
13. Am I yes? And uh, be okay. But what am I supposed to type though? These things? That's not a heck of a lot to type in if I want to do all that. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it can't be that I'm gonna type all this. E U Y W V. I'm just gonna stop with that and see what happens. Terrible crime shocked. Fuck. This looks like our house. The victim's throat was slashed. This is getting too fucked up. Seriously. Yeah, but I didn't get to use the party yet. Is this blood or just rust? Is this what I think it is? More notes from Nicholas. It hurts, so I must be alive. Damn it.